a little bit of Christmas cheer can't come soon enough. Beautiful. I've actually got a Zoom call. <laughs> I'm here with Chelsea this morning. I am living my dream life right now. Christmas, the snow's coming down. Guys, it is well and truly Christmas in this house. Hello, welcome back to another weekly vlog. What's the date when you're seeing this? It's not quite December yet, but it is nearly. December has come early in our house, as it has in many houses across the UK this year. Not gonna lie, I'm very happy about it. I feel like we've all just had this communal rule that it is not too early for Christmas. In the village where I live, people have put their Christmas lights up outside, People had their trees up weeks ago in their windows. I think because 2020 has been such a rubbish year, a little bit of Christmas cheer can't come soon enough. So yesterday I spent my entire Sunday kitting out the house for Christmas. I put the tree up, here's a little bit of footage of that. We did have a bit of a fail. We bought one of those base things to go around the bottom of the tree and our tree didn't fit in it. <laughs> so you'll see that in the time lapse, me trying to figure out how to get around it. I couldn't. just beautiful i'm so happy with it and i sound like such a loser i've been saying it to my parents all day but it's such a perfect shape for a tree in my opinion it's not too slim it's not too wide it's not too short it's not too tall it is just perfect i love it and all our baubles were either from garden centers there are a few local garden centers we bought from we got some from the range as well we're going for a classy christmas this year this also arrived today sunny's christmas stocking although i'm not actually going to put anything in it because i feel like it's a bit mean to hang treats in it because you'll be able to smell them i'll put them in on christmas eve santa will bring them for her also got this little wreath this was from a garden center i think i don't know it's so hard to remember got our christmas decor in the candles looks lovely very festive out in the hallway we've got the mouse it has no name it used to be my bedroom but now it's out here the christmas candle little bit of bling and also Father Christmas. We're not sure if he's gonna stay down there yet. Sonny hated him at first, and hated is an understatement, but I put a little bit of ham on his hand and I was like, look, Santa gives you ham. And now I think she quite likes him. She keeps going to sniff his hand to look for more ham, bless her. So yeah, Christmas is in full force in this household now. Let me know in the comments down below, have you got your Christmas decorations up? I really wanna put our outside Christmas lights up next weekend. Well, I say oh, I wanna put them up. I want my dad to put them up. That is not a job that I do every year, but I'm so excited for Christmas. I know it's probably gonna be very different this year, but we can still sit at home and watch films and be cozy right and that is exactly what i plan to do tonight it's now early evening it gets dark at like 3 p.m these days but it's about five o'clock right now and i'm about to set up for myself a little movie night this section of the vlog is very kindly sponsored by surfshark vpn but i'm gonna make myself a cup of tea i've got some gourmet popcorn i was sent that needs eating so i'm gonna have that tonight i've got my cozies on already i'm so snug i've asked my mum and dad if they wouldn't mind looking after sunny for a couple of hours they were more than happy they love her they're like uh obviously we'll look after the puppy so i'm gonna make myself a little nest up here i'm really excited i haven't done this for such a long time i'm gonna go and grab all of the ingredients for a cozy evening and then i'll get back to you <laughs> Snug. I am living my dream life right now. I've got a candle on over there. That is spiced cherry. Got my cozy lighting on. Got my cup of tea. Got my blanket and my popcorn. And I'm about to watch a film. I'm going to watch one of my favourite films tonight. I've been thinking about this all day. It's so hard to make that decision, isn't it? But I've decided I'm going to watch The Bling Ring. 
exquisite film. But like I mentioned, this section of the blog is very kindly sponsored by the lovely team over at Surfshark. Surfshark VPN is an app and browser extension which basically, in a nutshell, lets you place your laptop anywhere in the world, which in turn means that you can access loads of different Netflix libraries. It is a well-known fact that the American Netflix is just better than the UK Netflix. It is ridiculously easy to use. Within about three clicks, you just change your location and bish bash bosh, Bob's your uncle, you're in New York, congrats. So for example, here we are on UK Netflix, I type in the bling ring, nowhere to be seen. If I head up to the browser extension, disconnect from London and reconnect to Boston in the States, refresh my browser and there we have the bling ring right in front of me on American Netflix. And that's it, that's literally how simple it is to use. Surfshark is the only VPN where you can use one account on an unlimited number of devices. So on your laptop, on your phone, you name it, you can log in from one account. Super handy and little top tip for you. You. If you're someone who uses public Wi-Fi a lot, if you use a VPN, it's an extra layer of security. It protects your connection, your passwords, your photos, your videos. Really is putting the fun into functional. <laughs> I'm going to leave a link to Surfshark in the description down below and if you head over and use the code FABULOUS, wait for it, you will get 84% off. Babes, that's almost free. And not only that, you will also get four months free. Works out super cheap, no strings attached, they offer a 30 day money back guarantee as well so there's absolutely no risk. Head over, sign up, get your massive discount, hop onto American Netflix, there is a whole new world to be discovered out there. And start off with the bling ring, I recommend it. It's been so long since I watched this film but it's a true story. It's about a group of teenagers who used to break into celebrity houses and rob them when they know they're not there. It's super interesting. It's got Emma Watson in it as well. Absolutely adore Emma Watson. It's a really good film. It's one of those that's quite easy to watch, you know, and that is exactly what I need tonight. Where's my cuppa? Good morning everyone. It is actually now Wednesday. But I've got to tell you about a little dilly dally -o last night. So, recently, by the way, obviously I'm not going to be looking at the camera too much because I am driving la vehicle. But recently, I've decided I need to contribute a bit more towards the cooking in the house because my mum does all the cooking and I'm 22. I should know how to cook more than I do. But alas, I am horrendous at cooking. So I thought I want to try and teach myself to cook. My mum's really good at cooking, but she can't teach me to cook because she does everything by eye. And she's like, oh, I don't know how much to just do it by eye. And that's not really helpful to me <laughs> because my eyes don't work the same. Oh, man's putting the Christmas lights up in the village. Lovely. She also hates cooking. She's good at it, but she hates it. So I want to do it a bit more. So I think it was last week or a couple of weeks ago. Sorry, honey, you've got to stay there. Don't you pull out on me. I hopped onto the HelloFresh website and I placed a little ordery order. I think they did like a half price first box or something like that. So I thought I'd just try it out. Ordered it and it arrived yesterday and I cooked the first meal last night. And oh my goodness, I surprised myself with my cooking ability, let me tell you. I mean, it is super easy because there's like a step-by-step -step guide of how to cook a meal. But I did tandoori style chicken naans. So I did actually vlog it and I thought I would show you how it went. So here is me cooking last night. Hello freshness. So I was so excited for this to arrive. I can't even lie. It's literally been the highlight of my Tuesday. But this is what the box looks like inside. I want to point out this is not affiliated with HelloFresh in any way. I hopped onto their website myself. I spent my own pennies. I got half price off my first box like everyone else does. Because I just want to try it out. I'm very intrigued. And hopefully it's going to help teach me to cook. But basically I've chosen three different recipes. Each one feeds three people. Because that's how many people we've got in our household. So I went for the tandoori style chicken naan. The fragrant curry with zesty rice and also the Mexican style beef loaded wedges. Super simple recipes but I've got to start with basics you know. We've got all the ingredients for each one down the side, there's a step by step method on the back, so handy for people like me. <laughs> and then inside the box this bit is insulated so this is where all the meat is, the yogurt, some sweet potato fries. I thought I'd have to cut that on myself, so I'm very impressed with that. Then there's these for the Mexican meal. So black beans, this passata, some coconut milk. You literally get the quantities you need for each one. It's so handy. But tonight's meal is going to be the tandoori style chicken naans because that is the one I'm most excited about. How good does that look? I mean, mine's not going to look like that, but we can try. And then also in the box, there are so many 
herbs, veggies. Look at all them. They all look so fresh as well. Obviously, clues in the name. But there is not a single thing you need for these recipes other than oil and water. They're the only things not in the box. And in this bag was all like the spices and the seasoning. So look how clever this is. This is the little pot of tandoori masala to put in. I just think it's genius. Let's get cracking. Apparently, this meal is gonna take me 40 minutes to cook, but bet your bottom dollar it's gonna take me longer than that. <laughs> I can't lie, guys. I didn't even get a chance to vlog that. I get so stressed cooking, I don't know why. But I've got some cucumber, what's this called? Cucumber rate, I think, over here. Here we've got some tomato salad set aside. I've made me own pickled onion, chopped up all the lettuce, did make a rookie error, and my herbs are underneath this and I'm gonna have to try and separate them, so that's a fun task. Then I've got my naans ready to go in the oven, and also in the oven right now is the sweet potato fries, and on top is the marinated tandoori chicken. Also found that although it comes with the um, paper instructions, they actually have an app, and I feel like the app is more detailed. You can also set timers for the stuff you're doing. So I haven't really used the sheet, to be honest, other than to see how much I need of each ingredient. Okay, here we go. This is the final result. This is Dad's one. By the way, the recipe says this is all about piling it up high. I think I've nailed that. <laughs> to be honest, I think it looks really good. You are supposed to scatter the sweet potato fries over it. But I thought that was a bit weird, so I just put them next to it. This is my one, exactly the same, but without the tomatoes. Got a little bit of sweet chilli dip on there. And then Mum's is obviously exactly the same, but she didn't have the pickled onions on hers. So really easy to adapt to whatever you like. I hope they're going to be impressed with me. I mean, that is a lot of food. It does look like I've just piled it on there. I promise it's in layers. Naan, lettuce, chicken, tomato, cucumber, then pickled onion. Expectation reality what a housewife it's very cold today hence the headwear headwear <laughs> is that what it's called and i'm on my way oh blimey everyone's pulling out today aren't you hans don't worry don't worry about it oh she said thank you i'm currently on my way to take sunny out for a walk and then i'm gonna head to mcdonald's because i want to film a mukbang when i get home i think it will already be up on my channel so if it is go and check it out and then this evening something very exciting is happening i will be sure to vlog it and you'll see it this afternoon but i'm excited today wednesday's a good day guys sorry i'm just attaching my tripod to you there we go look at me with me posh lighting guys it's super dark it's like what's the time it's 10 to 4. I should know that because at 4 o'clock, I've actually got a Zoom call. Very exciting. It's with Billy Fares. Anyone who knows me in person knows that I'm obsessed with the Mummy Diaries. I absolutely love it. It's like my fave programme ever. So I'm very excited. I'm really looking forward to this. 4 till 5. It's with Billy and Superdrug. I think there are probably going to be some other influencers on there as well, but I have no idea who. So I've just set up my background. Let me show you. What a 2020 issue. The issue of Zoom meetings. But I like cleared all the rubbish away from the background to try and make it look neat. I've got my laptop here ready to go. I've put my ring light on because it's so dark outside. And the other thing is, Superdrug was sending out loads of products of like Billy's favourite Christmas products she's going to be talking about, and they haven't arrived. So, <laughs> so I'm just going to be sitting here like, okay, hi. This is the reality of the Zoom meeting. The background, the rest of the room. <laughs> To be fair, this part is particularly messy at the minute because of the renovation. But I'm not going to lie, I did just move a lot of this from on top of my desk. But that looks nice, right? I'm loving this pampas bouquet that I've put together. The little bunny tails are from the Dried Flower Boutique on Instagram. And then these ones and these big pampas grass are both from Pretty Little Thing. I think it looks quite cute together. Although I do feel like it needs some brown roses, like some dried brown roses or some acorns or something like that. Not acorns, pine cones. It needs something in the middle, doesn't it? I'm not a flower arranger though i don't really know what to do and how cute do these little candles look from pretty little things homeware bit i'm really pleased with this i think it looks adorable a lot of these are dropping at the minute though i need to give them a hairspray got a bit of dandruff huns and this was the moment i'm an absolute genius and only recorded my screen not the sound but basically this zoom meeting was all about christmas it was about the christmas gift sets that Superdrug have on offer this year we heard all about Billy's Christmas and what she's planning with the kids and stuff. It was just a really nice girly chat, to be honest. But 
Yeah, sorry, I forgot to record the audio. What a numpty. So the Zoom meeting is complete. I could listen to Billy talk all day. What a woman, honestly. She's everything I want to be in life. I felt like the pressure was kind of off because everyone else's mics were muted. So we didn't have to say anything. We were just like listening to her talk about her Christmas with her family and stuff. And it was just really lovely. A nice way to spend my Wednesday evening. Something different. Someone to talk to that's not my dog. <laughs> Anyway, speaking of my dog, I'm going to go and see how she is. She's downstairs, bless her. And then I've got a whole load of editing to do tonight. Woohoo! I don't mind editing, but it just takes me forever. Hello, everyone. It is... Is it Wednesday? No, it's Thursday. Is it Thursday? Oh, my God, it is Thursday. Oh, my God, it's Thursday. Hello, everyone. It's Thursday. <laughs> I'm here with Chelsea this morning. Hello. Here she is. We've just come out for a little walk together, a little chat. I've been working this morning, but we met at, what was it, quarter to 12? We yeah, met up that. this morning, about so we've that. had a little almost morning walk. It's now half past one, and we're just about to head back home. It's nice to have a little break in the day, isn't it? Yeah. Just see each other, have a little catch nice. up. This is actually the only socialisation I've had all week. <laughs> Same. Thanks, Jess. <laughs> Guess who was so happy to see me? Nappy face. <laughs> Hi, Sunny. She was literally scrabbling at the door. Because you saw me pull up on the driveway, didn't you? My mum held her up on the windowsill when she heard me pull up and she was scrabbling to get down and come to the door. Weren't you, pup? I love coming home to you because you always give me so much love. And it's rare that we're apart, so when I do come home, she's like, oh my god, you're back. <laughs> Ew, sunny. <laughs> She licked my mouth. <laughs> she licked my mouth. You're gross. Who's in the camera? Who's that? No. Oh, I said who's that as she looked at the door. <laughs> no, look in the camera. Look at the nappy on it. Look at the nappy on it. This is where she sits all the time. Next to mum, has a tummy scratch. You're so funny, pup. I've got to make myself some lunch though, because I'm hungry. Should we make some pesto pasta with cheese? And maybe you can have a tiny bit of cheese. <gasps> Cheese? Pesto pasta with cheese. Here she is. Look at that mountain. My manager just FaceTimed me while I was cooking it. And she went, there's no way you're going to eat all that. And I went, you watch. I will. Here it is. I was going to put halloumi in it because I've got some halloumi in the fridge. But by the time I'd cooked the pasta, I'd forgotten to put the halloumi in. And I didn't want the pasta to go cold. Fun stories with Han. I'm also going to sit and watch Demi and Sean's new vlog. Daily Dose of Us. If you haven't watched them, go and check it out. They're also doing Vlogmas this year and I'm very happy about that. Say hello everyone, I've just been to the vets. Apologies it's so dark right now. It's only about half four. I'm not even joking, it actually is half four. But we have just had an unexpected trip to the vets because after my last clip when I showed you my pesto pasta, wow, this focus though. My camera is really struggling. There we go. Um, Sunny was actually sick since that last clip and I know she is in season, but she is being sick quite a lot. So I phoned the vet and we went to go and pick up some anti-sickness medication for her. Anyway, my mum's just gone into the post office. So obviously she climbed out of her crate when we stopped. Anyway, you'll be fine. Seven days of medication and you'll be sorted, won't ya? Oh my goodness, it is so cold. I literally just took Sunny out for a wee in the garden. I've come in and I feel like I've been to the Arctic and back. I'm shoving my dressing gown on because I just, oh my God, I feel like, I, oh, you know, it goes through your whole body. My dressing gown will fix it though. I actually live in my dressing gown. I must look like I'm always in my pyjamas, especially like to the postman, but I don't know about you guys, but I'll get dressed and then put my dressing gown on. I'll put my pyjamas on and I'll put my dressing gown on. I just wear it all the time, I love it so much. I think I just got it on ASOS, but I think it's actually from Topshop. This is what it looks like. <laughs> anyway, enough chat about how happy my dressing gown makes me. But you guys are gonna be so disappointed in me. What was my one rule of lockdown? Spending ban, specifically on dog harnesses. Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm not going to do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. I'm not going to do it. I did it. <laughs> How cute is this, though? This is from Coco Pop. But basically, I'm sure you guys will have heard of Coconut Lane. They sell the cutest products, and they've just started this sister brand called Coco Pop. Isn't this just me in dog harness form? And it's also reversible. It's the first reversible harness that I've bought. So it's actually really good value for money because you get two harnesses in one. Me trying to convince myself that it's okay. I've bought another harness. Look at that, a little pink one the other side. Guess what guys, it is my turn to do dinner again tonight. 
This is the one I'm going for. Mexican style beef loaded wedges. Oh, it actually only says medium spice on here, you know. Oh, I might be able to eat it. Yeah, maybe. Mum doesn't like spice, and I thought this one was going to be too spicy for her, but I'll try and like put the Mexican spice not in your bit, but I don't know how good I'm going to be able to do that. Anyway, I'll try my best. It looks like it's going to be... I mean, it looks nice. I like all of these ingredients here a lot, but I've never made wedges from scratch before, so let's see how this goes. This is the expectation, and this is the reality. Looks a bit like dog food on a plate, to be honest, but it does a little bit, but it does smell really lovely, and there's wedges here, minced beef, peppers, garlic, black beans, cheese, what else, carrots. It's supposed to be a messy dish and it definitely is that. I'm very aware that this vlog has been very food based but I'm sure you don't mind that. When I got home today this package was actually on my doorstep from Goo and that, is it pronounced Goo? Goo. Uh. G -U? G -U. Goo? Yeah. I think it's Goo. Yeah. Um, and they've very kindly sent over these cheesecakes. These are some of our favorite puddings anyway. They are such a treat. We have salted caramel, zillionaires, chocolate and vanilla. Tonight I think we're gonna have the zillionaires ones. These look so posh. If you've never seen them, you can get them in like your local supermarkets. Look at the layers in that cheesecake. It comes in this little glass tin as well. And they all came in this very handy cool bag, which we'll definitely use in the future. So thank you very much to the team over at Goo. I did not realize it was gonna be gold on top. Yum. I don't think I've ever tried this one. I've definitely had the chocolate chocolate and vanilla, absolutely delicious. And my manager said she loves the lemon ones. Never tried salted caramel either, so very, very excited about this. What a good way to finish off the meal that I prepared for the family today. What a provider I am. I don't think I've ever looked worse in my vlogs, but honestly, I'm past the point of caring after the past two days I've had. It is now Saturday evening, and I'm afraid I'm gonna have to cut this vlog short. I did plan on filming quite a lot today, but to be honest, Sunny has been so poorly for the past two days. As you guys know, she is in season, and I know that sickness and diarrhea is a symptom of being in season, but I don't know if this is a normal amount. She's just needed all the attention today. Not even just that she's needed cuddles, she's needed to be watched all the time in case she throws up. But I'm trying not to panic. I'm going to see how she is tomorrow and maybe take her to an emergency vet. So I am going to end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry it's a bit shorter and that it's so food based. As I was watching this back, I was like, wow. I would love watching this vlog, but I'm incredibly greedy and I just love looking at food. But I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what is the best thing that happened to you this week. Do subscribe to see my future videos. Hopefully next week's vlog will be a little bit more positive. I'm really sorry. If you've ever had a puppy before, you know that when they're poorly, it can go downhill really quickly. So you do have to keep an eye on them. And I'm an overthinker, so that doesn't help. But anyway, thank you again to Surfshark for very kindly sponsoring the first section of this vlog. And thanks to you guys for watching. I hope you have a lovely Sunday and a lovely week next week. And I'll see you again soon with another little video. Bye guys. Love ya.